Everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our great. But sorry, there's a light inside of us. It shows the way. Not looking for no, no, no. Heaven will go, cause I got you. I got you. Don't wanna show. Oh, oh. Show us off, but you're my own. All that I need, I'm trying to sugar cold, but I'm flying so high. I don't even know if I'm coming down. You wrap my boat when you hold me so tight. The world just disappears in front of my eyes. I'm telling you why. This ain't no madness. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday, May 14th. It is almost 11 a.m. and I feel like I have not spoken to you guys or filmed a video in so long. I have a ton of stuff to catch you up on. Life has just been so busy the entire month of April and now I can't even believe that it's halfway into May. I don't know where these weeks are going by, but it's wild. Anyway, you guys saw I got up early this morning and I did my workout. My TV in our gym actually just like is done. It won't even turn on anymore. So I had to use my phone <laughs> because I don't have like an iPad. But anyway, I got it done, was able to read a little bit this morning, got the kids up and out of the house by 7.20, back here by 8.10, and I had a meeting at 9.30, and um, I have actually been on PTO since last Wednesday, and today is my first day back in the office. So I just have like a ton of catching up to do do cleaning out my inbox I tackled that for the most part this morning so that's in good order but now it's just like catching up on everything that I missed from last week and yesterday so but before I kind of like give you guys a little bit of an update on where I've been what's been going on things that are coming up that are super exciting I wanted to share my recent order from Thrive Market I have this massive box from Thrive Market they are sponsoring today's video so thank you so much to Thrive Market if you haven't heard of Thrive Market they're an online membership based grocery store and they're on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable to everyone with a guaranteed savings on every order. So if you are a Thrive Market member, you'll save on every single order of the highest quality organic and sustainable products. And if you find a product on a different site somewhere else at a cheaper price, they will match it. They have so many options no matter what your diet of choice looks like, whether you're gluten-free or you're vegan or you're keto, you can shop over 90 different diets and you can customize everything to your specific needs. I am so excited to try out Thrive Market. If you've been watching my channel for a little while, you'll know that I have two little kids, a three-year-old and a five-year-old, and they are very, very picky eaters and they absolutely love all of the kind of junk food. And yes, guilty, I have given in to my kids and I have bought them unhealthy snacks. They love sugary candy, like Swedish fish and gummy bears, and they love the sugary cereals. They also love chips, like my son Chase, he loves Pringles, he loves Doritos, and I really need to make a concerted effort to provide them with healthy, snack alternative. So I was so excited to see just a ton of different options that we can easily swap and they won't know the difference. So let's jump right in. My son Chase, he loves Pringles. The sour cream and onion ones are his favorite. So um, the Good Crisp Company has a swap here. They're gluten-free, soy-free, and nut-free. So excited, Chase is gonna love this. Late July, I have been hearing about this brand a lot recently and I heard that they're very, very good. And here's just another option for like a Cooler Ranch Dorito. Made with organic ingredients, they have no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. Here's another late July tortilla chip. These ones are jalapeno lime. I got these more for me, but my daughter Quinn really likes spicy stuff. Like she loves jalapeno bean dip. So she might really like these too. I have been just really obsessed with like cinnamon sugar type stuff. And this brand is called You Need This and they're churro puffs, like cinnamon churro puffs. And these are plant-based. I got these Siete grain free cinnamon chips and as you can see I have like a cinnamon kind of like 
obsession at the moment and I've heard that these are super good. Gluten-free, dairy-free, grain-free, soy-free, vegan, and paleo. These are like a healthy alternative to a Rice Krispie treat, I would say, and my kids absolutely love Rice Krispie treats. These are Lakes um birthday cake crispy treats they have sunflower seeds vegan marshmallows sprinkles pumpkin seeds and flax seeds so again a really healthy um alternative they're nut free vegan and gluten free so they are allergy friendly and i feel like even though there's some healthy stuff in here my kids are not even going to taste it another thing that my kids absolutely love is cereal i'm going to try these out they're called three wishes it looks kind of like a strawberry flavored cheerio but they are grain free they have more protein less sugar and they are gluten free all right so i had to get a few candy options because my kids absolutely love candy so the first one I got were these smart sweets. They're like a Swedish fish, but a healthier option. And they only have three grams of sugar and they don't have any artificial sweeteners. Oh, I love this. They say kick sugar, keep candy. I love that. These smart sweets are the peach rings. I've seen a bunch of people talking about these like on Instagram and stuff and saying how they're really, really good. And I'm kind of like super curious to just try them right now. Um, I know that they have a bunch of different flavors other than peach, but let's try them. Oh, wow. That's really good. Wow, and these have 88% less sugar than traditional peach rings. I have been eating keto or low carb for a long time sometimes i am better at it than others and i go on like long stretches of like really strict keto recently i've had a lot of like fun you know birthdays and uh, weddings and stuff like that so i've kind of like gone off the wagon but now my goal that summer's coming up i'm gonna get back in shape get healthier so i'm gonna go back full on to keto so i got this catalina crunch and it kind of looks like cinnamon toast crunch. It is keto friendly. It has zero grams of sugar, 11 grams of protein, and nine grams of fiber. I really love sweets, especially to end a meal. So I got the Swerve Keto Brownie Mix and it has four net carbs per serving. It's gluten and grain free. It has no added sugar and it seems very easy to make. You just need the brownie mix, two eggs, half a cup of oil, and a half a cup of water. So I cannot wait to make this. Okay, so I got a few condiments. So I got this um, Thrive Market organic hot salsa. I absolutely love salsa. I love it really, really hot. Like spice is my jam. So I cannot wait to try this and maybe have it with like the jalapeno lime chips. Oh, so good. And then I also have heard of this brand, Primal Kitchen, and I've heard very good things about it. This is the no dairy buffalo sauce. It's made with avocado oil. I make a lot of like grilled chicken. So I feel like this would be perfect for like a buffalo chicken or make like a buffalo chicken salad. The last thing that I got, and I actually think that this was a free gift that they included with my order. You can choose from a bunch of different things. It's um, this Thrive Market organic honey. It's raw and unfiltered. So I am so thrilled to try all of this stuff out and especially to feel like I can shop for my kids without feeling guilty about the things that I am buying for them as snacks and cereals and stuff like that. And it's a super convenient option if you are a busy mom or a busy working mom like myself and you don't have a lot of time to go to the grocery store. This is definitely a really nice option for you. Thrive Market has given y'all a 30% discount. If you use my link, you can go to thrivemarket.com slash amandafadool and I will leave the link in the description box below as well. And you can just click on that and you will automatically get a 30% discount and a free gift worth up to $60. So thank you so much to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. I am so excited to try everything that I got and I hope you guys will too. Okay, let me put all of this stuff away. I also have to unload my dishwasher and then I wanna make some lunch. I am starving. I'm just gonna have a couple of fried eggs on some keto toast. And then I have to get back to work. I have a meeting at one and then I need to use the rest of my afternoon to tackle all of the stuff that I missed out on last week. I'm gonna catch you guys up on just everything that's been going on in my life. I feel like everything is just like moving at such a rapid pace. Like there's so much going on. Um, so I wanna chat to you a little bit later about all of that.
guys so it's 307 right now i'm taking a quick break from work okay y'all need to let me know in the comments whether or not you like snapple i absolutely love diet snapple and funny enough my dad used to work for dr pepper snapple group and so he would get cases and cases of dr pepper and snapple and this was like years ago when they were making snapple in those like glass bottles and you would like hit the bottom you like turn it over and like hit the bottom on your hand to like i don't know mix it up and i used to work in a bagel store when i was in high school and we i would always get diet snapple I love the peach and the raspberry and just the regular one so anyway i have been on like a weird iced tea kick and i like the unsweetened one but i was like just thinking about it i'm like i love diet Snapple and I wonder if they still have them because I don't see them anywhere. I don't see them in grocery stores I have not seen them in little delis or anything like that And I was like, I wonder where they went and so I of course went to Amazon and they have Snapple But now it's called Snapple zero sugar, which is like their diet one and I got this 24 pack of The one I'm drinking is peach right now, but it came with peach regular and raspberry and I am just loving life. It's so good. Oh, it is tasting a little sweet for me, but it's still so good. It's like nostalgic almost. I just remember Sundays working at the bagel store, eating a nice everything bagel toasted with like vegetable cream cheese and having one of these. Oh my God, so good. Anyway, <laughs> I'm having a little break to have my Snapple and it's delicious. I got so much done work-wise today. I feel on top of things and luckily tomorrow, I think I have like one meeting at 9 a.m. and then the rest of the day, I don't have meetings. So I'll be able to really focus, get things done and like fully be back from vacation mode. I did not film a video at all last week. So I feel detached from you guys just because out of my routine and I haven't been able to chat with you and we've had so much going on. So let me bring you back to the last weekend in April, right? Yeah, the last weekend in April was so much fun. We had Chase's birthday party and we also had my parents in town. And so they came like on a Friday to a Monday. And so they were here for Chase's birthday party. We did it at this place called Urban Air, like a trampoline park it was so fun. And um, they were here for the weekend. My mom's birthday is 29th and mine's the 30th. So we went out to my favorite Mexican restaurant for dinner. We just kind of hung out at the house. We had pretty good weather. And um, yeah, it was just really nice nice and the kids just had the best time with my mom and my dad being here so that was so much fun and then we kind of had like a week in between and then this past weekend me and pete went to north carolina actually this past last wednesday so i pete's mom came into town to watch the kids so she got here last tuesday like midday and then we left, we had a 7.45 a.m. flight. And this was the trip that like my company pretty much paid for. So it was so nice. Like they sent this really nice like car service to pick us up from our house, take us to the airport, another car service waiting in Raleigh to pick us up to take us to the hotel. And then like same on the like back end of the trip. So nice. I had like an Escalade. Oh my God. It was like the best. One of those guys was downstairs at the baggage claim that had a sign that said Amanda Fadul. So like I felt so important. So nice. The wedding was beautiful. It was just the best time. He and I got in a day before everybody else. I think the majority of people. So we stayed at this Marriott. And so on Wednesday, we got there afternoon, I think maybe like 1130. And we were just like walking around Raleigh. And I have a coworker who lives there. So she gave us some awesome recommendations for restaurants. So we had lunch at this little, it was called like the Raleigh Times. Really good food, like a pub type place. And then we went out to dinner just me and pete at this place called oku and it's this japanese like sushi place and so so good oh my gosh 10 out of 10 was the best dinner ever and they gave us two desserts living my best life and and then there was the rehearsal dinner was on thursday night so pretty much everybody all my family came in on thursday for the most part and so um they had it at this like brewery which was kind of like outdoor indoor type of a thing so that was really nice. And then the wedding was on Friday. I was at this beautiful old kind of like historic mansion. 
so pretty it ended up raining they got through the ceremony and then it like downpoured and then it stopped and the sun came out it was really beautiful and then saturday we left so we had the best time it was really nice to just reconnect me and pete it's like oh my god i'm not annoyed with you <laughs> you know because like when you get into the like mundane of day to day with kids and your husband and everything sometimes the spark is kind of not there and so it was really really nice for pete and i to just spend some time alone without the kids not worrying about the kids not really having you know to be at a million activities we kind of like had a very leisurely few days and i actually came back from the trip not feeling like i needed another vacation so that was really fun and i'm gonna talk about this in another video but i have not drank alcohol since that last emotional video that i put up which was like april 1st when we sent the kids to that new daycare and it was just awful so i haven't drank in i think it's like 44 days and it's wild because this was the first birthday i think probably in i mean definitely since i was 21 and aside from being pregnant it was the first birthday in like 15 or 20 years or something that i have not drank to celebrate and it was the first wedding that i've been to us not being pregnant that i just didn't drink and it was so great not being hungover and not being depressed for days after big celebrations like that it would take me a week to recover i would you know go a little harder on my birthday or like at a wedding it's open bar felt so good so anyway i will talk more about that in another video where i kind of go through everything that's kind of what we've been up to another massive thing that's happening is chase is going to be graduating from preschool this saturday it's blowing my mind we have him enrolled in public school for kindergarten so he's going to start in august and i'm i'm getting like literal goosebumps just talking about this because i he's going to be in kindergarten I'm really not ready this is kind of the last week of his preschool and on friday he's having a graduation party like at the school i think they're like he's supposed to go um you know in his bathing suit i think they're gonna get like a big water slide and like a jumpy bouncy house thing and they're gonna have mcdonald's and have like snow cones and it's gonna be like a whole fun thing and then he's having his actual graduation where he wears this little cap and gown on Saturday morning and then we're gonna go out to brunch with a few of his friends from his class and their family. Oh my gosh, I, it's so crazy. Time is a thief, it goes so fast and I, I don't know, I want it to stop. I feel like he is just becoming this little man and I'm not ready for it. <laughs> but he's gonna do great. Cannot wait to celebrate him this weekend. And then in two weeks, for Memorial Day weekend, we're going down to Galveston with a couple, um, I think it's like three other couples with their little kids. So it's just wild. And then Pete has a conference for work in Panama. So he is leaving on Sunday and he will be gone from Sunday till next Friday. So I'm gonna be alone with the kids all next week by myself and then we literally he flies home friday morning and we just like drive down to galveston so i'm spinning like a top right now but it's all good things all fun stuff anyway that's my update right now i really feel like i'm slacking a little bit on youtube there's just been so much going on i feel like i haven't been able to like truly commit to two videos a week and i feel like everything is kind of haphazard and i get them up when i can get them up and i don't know I really just want to get back on track and start posting more regularly pete is actually picking up the kids from school today i am going to just head back to work wrap a few things up for the next like hour or so and then call it a day i'm gonna end the vlog here don't forget to check out thrive market i will put the link in the description but use my link it's just thrivemarket.com slash amanda a duel to get 30% off and then a free gift up to $60. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm thinking of doing a Q&A pretty soon and I still need to film my house tour. So that is on my list of videos to film either this week or next week. I know it's been so long, but I feel like we're finally in a place where I'm confident enough to share it online. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.